Well, first of all, we're not the top culprit. Uh, in fact, I don't think any other transportation industry has reduced its carbon footprint for every passenger that is being transported as much as aviation is. But uh, I don't want to sound defensive. Au contraire, I think that therein lies an opportunity for Airbus to continue to drive this industry towards increased ecological efficiency. Decarbonizing this industry is actually an objective that Airbus underwrites. You don't seem to factor in potential extra competitors in the sector in your, in your forecast that we've that just been published today. Uh, obviously, Airbus and Boeing have the lion's share of, of the aviation industry. I'm thinking of, of companies like Comac coming from China. Is that a bit of complacency coming from Airbus? I, I hope it's not complacency. I hope it's more logical. Um, we have the highest respect for uh, a country like China that is quite legitimate in its pursuit of developing its industry, including aerospace industry. However, the reason we're saying there will not be a meaningful impact in this planning cycle is that the products that are being offered by the new entrants really don't bring anything new to the market. So our customers are telling us, why should I take the risk of going to a new entrant when really the new entrant's product is not adding anything, any value to the proposition that the current duopoly is offering. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.